Let's simplify this complex expression here. My warning is that turn this into the I, take the I out. Simplify that radical first. Same with this one right here. Now this can be simplified because there's a perfect square factor in there. So that's actually, I'll go ahead and write the negative 7 times. Notice these are being multiplied, so that's negative 7 times 2i root 2. The next step is to take these numbers. Now, I'm not distributing anything here. I don't have, you have to be very careful and notice that these are all just being multiplied together. All these things are being multiplied. So what I have is the commutative property. And so I'm going to move all of the numbers out front. 7 times 7 times negative 2. I'm moving those all off to the front. I'm going to put the i's here, i squared. And then I'm going to put the square root of 13 and the square root of 2 at the back. That's how I think of it in my mind. Even though I don't do it that way, because I can do it in my head, that's how I think of it in my mind. This thing turns into what? Negative 1. So, and this thing turns into what? Root 26. And now let's just multiply these things together. So 7 times 7 is 49. These become a positive 2. 49 times positive 2 is a positive 98. There's your answer. Oh my God.